Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, a new technique that I, I was working on. I wasn't really happy with the way the arrows were working, and I did want to show you, this will be a real short video, I want to show you how we can uh, put the arrow over our player and have it follow them a little bit while it's on screen. Uh, there's a couple little tricks to do that and make it look really, really nice. So that's what we're going to talk about. It should be just a couple minutes here. All right, first thing is you'll notice that the, the arrow I've got here now uh, is has a black background. Uh, the setting we're going to use for the overlay, uh, the black works better than that white background or that transparent background we had. So we're going to take that, we're going to drop that in here. A couple things, we're going to shorten this up here. So this, this will be just a, a few seconds long here, maybe one second here. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is, you know, we, we do need to go ahead and uh, resize that. So we're going to unlock this so we can resize it. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit more. I'll put this right above our player here. You've got this little dot in the middle. I'll put it right above uh, Nate's head in this scenario. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my composite mode to add. It makes it a little transparent, but I think it'll work out pretty good. I'll actually move it down just a little bit more. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is now that we're on this clip here, I'm going to highlight the second track. Uh, I'm going to click this to kind of go to the end. And the other thing I want to do is, so this arrow here, I want to go to this position link here. I'm going to click this little button here, which will add a transform. And I'll push this over here. So this should, if we've done this right, put another position here at the beginning. And so now we should have two points. And as we scrub through this part here, It'll follow him to the end, right? So there's it's a little bit ahead of it. So let's add another. These are called adding keyframes. So we'll add this keyframe here and we'll move it just a little bit up here. So now with those three keyframes, that arrow should follow Nate for the beginning, right? Okay. So now we'll go ahead and we'll copy this. And the next thing we'll do, we'll go down to the bottom timeline, scrub ahead. Okay, and then we'll right click and we'll paste that in. You should see that there's now three points. I'll go ahead and I'll delete this, this keyframe here. So now we've got two. So again, we'll go to the beginning here. We'll move this keyframe down to where he is right now. And you can navigate these keyframes here. So go to the next keyframe. So now we should have, just gonna follow him here. A little bit behind, so let me see if I can get that. So that, that'll give it the idea. So if we go back again, let's go back to our beginning here. So if we watch these two, we'll see there's the highlight of Nate. Next clip, there's Nate. It's a little bit off, but still pretty good. Then we get to this next clip here. Uh, I don't think he starts on the screen, so we're going to play ahead till he actually makes his appearance. Let's back up just a little bit there. And I can do this again. Paste this in. Paste him there. Beginning of the play. We've got here. Now let's again let's watch it here. There's the defense. So anyway, we keep going through and we'll do that for all of the clips here. And that is how you get a nice red arrow above your player. So again, let's paste this in. Let's move this in here. You can use these arrows to navigate. So again, that's when we want to be right there. So first position. Again, if we scrub through it, we'll see the arrow follows them in. So anyway, basically go through that, do that for all the clips. You can see I've got a bunch here to go through on the timeline. Once it's done, go ahead up here, hit file, save your project, and you're good to go.
do your normal export uh, and publish to YouTube, which we'll talk about in a different video. But anyway, real quick, that's how you add the arrows and make them look great.